All right, so welcome to part six of how to solve the Rubik's Cube with no memorization. This is going to be my last and final video for this particular series, so I hope you've been enjoying them up to this point. And you probably noticed if you watched my first five videos, we've really been using the formula x, y, x prime, y prime. We've pretty much been using that formula to solve the entire cube. And you're probably wondering if you've watched my first five videos and you really enjoyed them, you're probably wondering why that formula actually works and we're able to solve the cube just using that, that one formula. So in this particular video, I'm actually going to explain why we're able to use that formula and why we're able to rotate any three pieces of the cube without screwing up the rest of the cube actually using that formula. So having said that, let's just get started right away with an example. And through this example, um, I think I'm going to explain why this formula actually works. So like I said before in the rest of my videos, in order for this formula to work, you need two pieces in the top layer that are not solved and one piece not in the top layer. And for this particular cube, um, we have three pieces that are not solved. We have two pieces in the top layer. This is the top layer of the cube. So we have this piece and this piece in the top layer not solved. And then we have one piece not in the top layer. All right. And this piece is white, red, and green. And this center is white, red, and green. So this piece needs to go into this position. This piece needs to go here. And this piece needs to go from here to this position. All right. So why does this formula x, y, x prime, y prime actually work? So let's just get started right away and do our first part of the formula x. And I think it's going to make more sense once I talk you through it. So like I said before, x is any sequence of moves that takes a piece that's not in the top layer and correctly puts it into the top layer. All right, so this is a pretty short sequence. In order, to correctly, in order to correctly place this piece into its correct position, we just need to take the right side counterclockwise, bottom layer to the right, and right side clockwise. All right. Um, so now we took the piece that was right here and correctly put it into its correct position. And notice how the top layer is looking a little better now. Now, now the top layer is completely solved except for one other piece that we're rotating. But... Although the top layer, look, top layer looks a little bit better, our, we actually screwed up the middle and the bottom layer more uh, than it was before. So that's the reason why we do our x prime, because the x prime is the opposite of what we did. When we do our x prime, it takes the middle and the, and the bottom layer that we screwed up, it takes it and it puts it back to the way it was before. So let's just do that right now. If we do our x prime, the opposite of x, okay? Now the cube is exactly the way it was before. The, the middle layer and the bottom layer are not, are not screwed up anymore. But we're back to where we started at the beginning. Okay, notice how these three pieces still need to be rotated. So although x prime you know, fixed the, the middle and the bottom layer for us, we're back to where we were at the beginning. So uh, we really haven't, haven't gotten um, any further, or we haven't solved this, this cube any further than, than, we, than we did at the beginning. So, um, but I just wanted to, to show you how x prime actually fixes uh, the middle and bottom layer, so it, it brings it back to way to the way it was when we started the the uh, b when we started the cube. So let's start over from the beginning, and now I'm going to show you how you actually uh, show you the meaning of y. All right, so now we're going to start over from the beginning again. So once again, we're going to perform our x because x is our first part of the formula. X brings a piece that's from the bottom layer correctly into the uh, in its correct position in the top layer. So once again, that's right counterclockwise, bottom layer, and right clockwise. All right. So now we're going to perform our y. Okay. So our y replaces this piece with the other piece we're rotating in the top layer. All right. So I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees. So now this this piece replaced uh, our other piece that was here. So once again, like I said before, our x prime fixes the, the middle and bottom layer to the way it was when we started in the beginning. So if we perform our x prime now, our middle and bottom layer are going to be exactly the same as when we started uh, the beginning. However, since we did our y, since this place is here instead, this piece is going to go back to this position instead of our other piece that's going to go to that, that, that went to that position. Okay. So now we're actually going to fix the middle and bottom layer and another piece 
is going to take the position down here that wasn't there before. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to do my x prime now. So our x prime is just the opposite of x, right counterclockwise, bottom layer to the left, right clockwise. All right. Um, so now we only have one more part of the formula, and our part of the form the last part is our y prime. Um, since we rotated the the top layer 180 degrees for y, we need to compensate for what we did there. So since we rotated the you know the top layer 180 degrees for y, we got to do the same thing for y prime just to fix the top layer from when we changed it before. So. I hope that gave you a little bit better idea of how this formula actually works. Um, I hope this makes sense. Once again, this is my last and final video of this particular series. I hope you get a better, I hope you've gotten a better understanding of how this, uh, this concept actually works. So um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave any comments. And I hope you enjoyed these once again. And until my next one, I will see you later.